Cesar's effectiveness is based on its state-of-the-art weapon system. This system provides real-time fire control management, including muzzle velocity radar, GPS navigation, and instantaneous transmission of firing orders. The Cesar provides direct, indirect, and counter-battery fire support. Its lightweight and compact design make it ideal for rapid deployment forces. Although tracked vehicles are slower than wheeled ones, they offer the ability to carry greater armor protection. The self-propelled howitzer looks much like a tank, but there are important differences. Tanks usually have their turrets mounted in the center of the chassis. Self-propelled artillery such as this M109 howitzer carry larger guns and have their turrets mounted in the rear. This position makes it possible for ammunition handlers to pass shells and explosive charges to the gun crew. The M109 howitzer can fire a 155 millimeter shell at a distance of nearly 20 miles. Controlling this level of firepower and putting rounds on target requires the careful choreography of its six-man crew. You would have the uh, gunner. He aligns the howitzer on the azimuth of fire given by the fire direction center. Uh, you have the assistant gunner, who is an E4 or corporal. He elevates or depresses the tube to the uh, appropriate quadrant given by the FDC. You have the chief of section, who initiates all of the commands to the individual uh, howitzer crews. Uh, you have a number one man who loads and fires the howitzer uh, when commanded by the fire direction center. And you have the number two man who does the recording of the fire mission itself. To protect ammunition being transported to the howitzer, the Army developed the Field Artillery Ammunition Support Vehicle, or FASV. The armored FASV protects the ammunition and has handling equipment to speed the loading of the M109 howitzer. One of the most significant advancements in artillery has been the incorporation of positioning equipment on the vehicle. The accuracy of artillery is dependent on knowing precisely where the battery is located in relation to the enemy target. In the past, this was done by laborious and time-consuming surveys. The current models of the M109, the A6 Paladin, contain their own state-of-the-art positioning systems. This uh, howitzer that you see is uh, the uh, M109 Alpha 3. The Paladin howitzer is an improvement over this in, in several ways. Uh, the biggest thing is that uh, it allows each howitzer to carry with it uh, directional, um, well actually a location finding capability, so that the howitzer knows where it is at any given time period. Because of the time it took to calculate positions, howitzer batteries were lined up close to one another in order to share targeting data. Should an enemy pick up the location of these artillery lines, they could send a counter battery of artillery, and with several howitzers in the same location, they would likely score a hit. The Paladin with vehicle-mounted location systems can be placed in different locations, and each can calculate targeting data independently. Despite being physically separated, they can still send coordinated rounds to make simultaneous impacts on targets. The revolution in positioning systems has been matched by advances in the ammo fired by artillery. One of the most important new types of ammunition is DPICM. Normal projectiles are intended for a single target. DPICM is filled with small grenades and can devastate a much wider area. During Operation Desert Storm in 1991, the DPICM projectiles were called Steel Rain by Iraqi troops. The high explosive round can do a couple of things. It can either detonate upon impact, or we can have it detonate in the air where it explodes from within, spraying shrapnel in a given location. The devastation that, that occurs on equipment and other things when the shape charges goes off uh, is almost intolerable to try to survive under a barrage of DPICF. That is the munition of choice on the battlefield. 
When we were in Iraq, uh, we captured some uh, POWs um, during the war, and uh, we had uh, um, one of the uh, leaders of a group of POWs uh, come up to us and talk about the rain of artillery. And uh, one of the statements uh, that he made was, uh, no more rain artillery, no more rain artillery. And they were speaking primarily of the devastation that uh, they had experienced uh, under the fires of DPIC. Artillery has traditionally been an area attack weapon. Incorporating laser technology has permitted the development of projectiles such as the Copperhead, which can pinpoint targets. To guide a Copperhead round, a laser designator team is needed to see the target. In the U.S. Army, artillery forward observers in the Fire Support Team Vehicle, or FISTV, can perform this function. In the Hammerhead mount over the vehicle is a laser designator, which shoots a laser beam at the target. The artillery system, 10 miles or more behind them, is instructed to fire its copperhead round into the approximate vicinity of the target. The copperhead can detect the beam reflected off the target and achieve pinpoint accuracy even on moving objects. The copperhead munition, though, is not um, something that we fire huge amounts of copperhead out onto the battlefield and everybody is lazing at one time and, and individual vehicles start blowing up. It's more of an artillery sniper weapon where we would take out what we call a high priority target, maybe some sort of uh, a higher level command and control node or something that uh, would be very important to a higher level commander. Another sniper-like munition is the 155 millimeter bonus artillery round. Bonus is a top attack anti-armor shell designed to strike armored vehicles from above where they are most vulnerable. Each round carries two smart submunitions. As it passes over the target area, the submunitions are ejected from the shell. Once dispensed, they deploy spin-stabilizing wings and using infrared sensors begin to hunt out enemy armored vehicles. Bonus rounds work by delivering an explosively formed projectile warhead, or EFP. Once the warheads penetrate, all targets inside, including equipment, are effectively destroyed. 